a second. Okay, we are in. So this is AI sandbox uh, space on Google I.O. Uh, 2025. So as you see, there are different stands where you could try AI. Technically, Germany, robotics. So definitely we go here. It's robotics, basketball coach, AI coach, AI in search, video generation. Okay, what else we have? Human iron glasses. Okay, great with flow and given a compass. So we'll check probably. Okay, I will try to check all of them. First, robotics, right? Let's go. Okay, now they try to uh, create a common list for these two nice robot hands. So, okay, you see, it tells some instructions. Okay, putting the red block okay. in the door. And you see Chrome step is put the red block on the tray. Left, middle, okay. or right. Let's do some work. And now it tries to put the red block in the middle drawer. It will be complicated, I see. Let's see. Oh, the drop unfortunately. Now I'm opening the middle drawer. Okay, now it tries to open the middle drawer. Oh, it's successful. Sounds good. Yeah. So today you'll get to interact with the robot, which mm -hmm. uses Gemini to follow your instructions. It's still learning, so it may make mistakes sometimes, and it's best with simpler single-stage tasks. But we can go ahead and get started. Okay. Yeah. And say hi to you there. Okay. And basically, here's some cards hi. that give you an idea Hello. of how okay. to do Gemini robotics. So you need instructions to, help. to give it. Uh -huh. But you can also give it any instruction you want. And to talk to the robot, you just use this push to talk microphone. So okay. Just hold it down as you can. Okay, let's give it a try. Can you pick up a pink uh, cup and give it to another robot hand? I'll pick up the red cup and give it to the other robot hand. I am getting started. I am working on it. Could you make sure that the cup is uh, positioned the correct way? Can you tell me which way you want the cup positioned? Uh, put it in the right way. I'm not quite sure okay. what you mean by in the right way. Can you describe a specific orientation you'd like me to use? Uh, yes, um, could you put it in a way that you could um, make possible to put any uh, like blue or green uh, cubes? You want the opening of the cup facing up so you can put the blue or green cube inside of it. Yes, that's correct. correct. Yes. Oh, oh, look at that. It's time there. for the next participant. Um, but I hope Thanks you enjoyed the demo. Yes, yes, robotics. absolutely. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, of Thank course. You. And hope you have a great okay. rest of your day. Yeah, and we have some gifts. Thank you. Oh, hey. yeah. Okay. Good. Welcome to Thank you. Robotics. Thank so you. Thank you. Okay, so here is AI basketball coach. So people try to do their best with their own basketball ball into basket. <laughs> and uh, they help, they get help assisted with uh, Gen AI agent. It's quite a long line, so we'll see how it works. So you see, the person is throwing the ball. And Almost. I mean, close to almost. And uh, now the person is uh, reading recommendations of the uh, DNA coach. So uh, there are like video cameras uh, which uh, try to analyze the distance, the uh, strength of the actual throw, and uh, try to give them advice. Okay. So I see. Don't worry. I see it will. Try to. Okay, I push it. All right. Okay, let's see what else we can. Okay, so this is uh, the flow, uh, the new video generation of generative AI for video creation. So this is a uh, quite long line. Uh, so if you'd like to give a try and uh, film your own movie uh, completely with uh, AI, with uh, uh, your model. 
uh, you could definitely do a try and uh, so you see some examples of work of this uh, generative AI for video creation sometimes it's crazy <laughs> like uh, hanging cars uh, in the air uh, while over the road uh, yeah, cheetah playing football not bad, not bad idea what else do we have? maybe, oh this is quite crazy some birds oh my this actually reminds me about the movie with Doctor Strange uh, they were called when they have this, uh, I, I don't know how it was called, but like a pearl uh, reality where they could hide and uh, where they fought each other, I mean, like the mages. Okay, let's see maybe other uh, options. Creativity. Uh, different options. Yeah, quite a lot of people. So here we do have um, Search Life. So uh, it's uh, integration of Gemini, Gemini models into uh, Google search window. Uh, so technically you could go and uh, try to play with it, uh, see how it works. I also want to get to the second um, robotics area where you could play with it. And uh, here is the same, the only difference it's more about focusing on uh, recognizing different uh, fruits and uh, correctly moving them into uh, right uh, boxes. Uh, so previously we did uh, play with uh, different shapes for our cup. So there is no cup, there are different fruits. Uh, let's see how it works. And sorry guys about it's quite loud. Here. So many things. Okay, so let's see the comment. Okay, so the comment is the instruction open the middle drawer of the white drawer. Okay, so let's see how it works. Okay, almost. It's close. The issue is that the drawer handles are in a sphere shape. Okay, so put the towel in the blue tray. Okay, so we have a small towel and we see a blue color tray. Give it a try. Instructions again, how to use it. Okay, the instruction is open the peer pod organizer. Okay, so we have a huge green peer. Oh my gosh, it tries to get it right on this small, tiny, small, tiny, how it's called, peer tail <laughs> on the bottom. Let's see what's this instruction. Okay, put the yellow block in the orange tray. Okay. Looks like time to go. Okay. And uh, I think that will be it for this robot. Thank you, team. So, two more areas uh, I would like to talk briefly. Briefly, it's not about IoT, not about robotics. So, talking out live, so it's um, about, again, field life. So, all these exhibitions have field life. So, uh, it's technically a Gemini glasses, and uh, you could use like smart glasses with uh, integrated edge computing model of Gemini. Uh, it's uh, more. Uh, kind of like efficient, energy efficient and the memory efficient model and uh, you could use the glasses uh, to see what's going on around to help Gemini uh, recognize different objects uh, do the summary, etc, etc Okay, and uh, the last area uh, not a big deal in terms of the, the line Gemini colors but uh, maybe, maybe, maybe let me do this it doesn't have a huge line here uh, so maybe it will be nice 
interesting content related to drawings. I can check. Okay, while we're here, so this is brief description of the Nakamas, by code. Great, okay, let's do the creation. Here is some screen and some instructions. And let's move forward. Okay, and here are four. Four displays, these displays, styles, and uh, interesting, like, uh, funny, uh, cutting, like, uh, futuristic way. So, uh, let's wait till any screen, any uh, spot is available. Uh, we'll get back soon. Finally here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, pretty the same. I mean, like uh, helping with uh, some summary, some research using like uh, web uh, sources. So. so you like more dogs that can come here? Yeah, different types of dogs. Uh, I mean, like either like real, real dogs, so it could be uh, URL, some some kind of a link. So yeah. So the way you start the animals is like you have like this chip, mm -hmm. and then you like, start writing. <laughs> so yeah, you, you you made it tough. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have uh, another custom prompt. Let's see. So what I do is like this is a thing where we say identify the user intent uh -huh. when it wants to create a shareable yes. canvas versus like it's a static query. So that was a differentiation thing. Sorry, they call a static query. When I said a blog post, it understood like now the user wants to create co create something. And now it split the view into two. And also nice that you you could do some uh, editing as well. I mean, like because it yeah, has yeah. some rich uh, yeah, text that's, tools. Yeah, so that's the power of Canva. Now you are in charge. Mm -hmm. Now you basically you are building with Gemini. Mm -hmm. And you can tell it to change things. Either you can do manual edits and then say, okay, now pick up from here and just do it. So you can do that. Yeah. You can even highlight parts of it. Oh, nice. And then finally, you can also describe anything free form if you want to build something custom. I can show you some pre made apps that you made. Have you tried deep research as well? Oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 I tried. Yeah. Yeah. You can even now go from deep research to canvases because oh. with deep research, what you get is like a report that's not editable, right? Uh -huh. But now, what you can do is with this create button, yeah. you can go to a canvas and you can say, okay, now write me a blog post focusing on this particular aspect of it and whatnot, and it will directly go to the same canvas we saw before, and now you can edit a talk out of it. Cool. Now you don't even have to bring your own information. You first get your information from deep research and plug that into Canvas and build those things around it. So as an example, what I did was this was like a business study mm -hmm. I wanted to do. So that means like within 15 to 20 minutes, because deep research takes like a while to manage and enter report, we were able to go from like an ID business idea to maybe a business plan. So mm -hmm. that's the power of Canvas. That's that's very incredible. I mean like uh, yeah. Completely finished and to end. Yeah, yeah. Well, nice. And lastly, I think what we're also providing is like it's the ability to create web applications. You can create smarter web applications as well. So it's not just like static data, or it's like statically entered into HTML. So let's take this like a more advanced It's like based on spice level and recruiting choices. Gives me recipe recommendations and generates images of those recipes using the Gemini API. So the Gemini API is integrated into this and don't get it something new. So don't worry. Cool. Thank you. Really impressive. Okay, so we are out of AI sandbox as of now. No people there. I was waiting like for 20 minutes. Okay, so I think literally we did a nice, nice recording. So maybe for 10 minutes movie. So see you guys. And uh, I think for IoT, if I don't find anything related, that's probably it. Bye folks.